besides UV light, gamma radiations and X-rays which are ionizing radiations are particularly hazardous to the DNA because they cause double strand breaks in the DNA which is difficult to repair. So uh, you know uh, in a DNA strand uh, uh, two strands are helically coiled and if one strand is broken this is very easy to repair that strand but if both the strands are broken it becomes difficult to repair it. Ionizing radiations directly or indirectly generate many different kinds of DNA lesions. Direct damage takes place when DNA or water bound to it absorbs the radiation. So this is a, a, a one way of direct damage. Either the radiation strikes the DNA molecule or the water molecule which is bound to the DNA molecule. So in both the cases uh, direct damage will take place. While uh, indirect damage takes place when water molecule or any other molecule surrounding the DNA absorb the radiation and form reactive species that then damage the DNA. So you know uh, where, where DNA is present uh, there may be some water molecules or some other molecules present in the vicinity of uh, that DNA molecule. So if uh, uh, those molecules absorb radiations they produce very dangerous highly reactive species which damage the DNA. The DNA lesions caused due to these radiations may be isolated or clustered. So uh, many lesions within a few helical turns are called clustered lesions. Isolated lesions uh, 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 there may be one lien here and the second layer may be after some distance in the DNA helix, third lien may be after some more distance. So the such lesions are called isolated lesions. But cluster lesions in few helix helices, there are number of lesions present. So such lesions are called clustered lesions. One type of clustered lesion, the double strand break, is generally thought to be primary reason that ionization radiation is so lethal to cells. As already mentioned, this double strand break is very difficult to repair. So uh, it becomes lethal to the cells. Double strand breaks are also responsible for various chromosomal aberrations such as deletions, duplications, inversions, and translocations. These four types of chromosomal aberrations which are caused due to these ionization radiations. So here you can see this is deletion. So in this case this portion of chromosome has been deleted. In case of duplication this portion of chromosome has been duplicated. So it has two copies of this portion. In case of inversion, this portion of DNA has been inverted. So it is first broken and then it is uh, rejoined but in the opposite sequence. And in case of translocation, one piece of DNA is attached to another chromosome. Similarly here, from a piece from here, it is attached to another chromosome. So this is translocation. So these four types of uh, uh, chromosomal aberrations and these may be caused by ionization radiations. About 65 percent of the DNA damage caused by these radiations is due to indirect effects. So uh, you, you, you have seen the direct effect but now uh, let us come to the indirect effect. So uh, 65 percent of damage is due to indirect effects and that is primarily due to the transfer of photons from light photons to water molecule. The photon transfer activates the water and causing it to undergo two types of 
primary reactions. In the first of these reactions, the water molecule is ionized. Simply, the water is excited and then it is ionized. The H2O plus ion that is formed, it readily dissociates and release a proton and a hydroxyl radical. So in this reaction, this uh, uh, water molecule releases hydrogen and hydroxyl. The electron generated by the first reaction can combine with molecular oxygen to form a superoxide radical. So in this reaction, you can see the electron which was generated in the first step of this reaction. It combine, combines with molecular oxygen and produces a superoxide radical. In the second type of primary reaction, excited water molecule, which has been excited due to these radiations, splits into a hydrogen atom and a hydroxyl radical. So simply it has been uh, broken into its components H and OH. So the three highly reactive chemical species that is a proton or a hydrogen, hydroxyl radical and superoxide are produced by the two primary pathways. Each of these, each of these three attacks and damages whatever biomolecule they encounter. So any biomolecule that comes in their pathway, they damage that biomolecule. And if that molecule happens to be DNA, it causes a wide variety of damages and changes to the DNA molecule.